Don't forget, Jelly Merchandise is ending in just three days. This will be the last video before it's gone for good. Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits and Crafting. And we're flying over the top of the great Hermitcraft shopping district, where in our last episode, we judged the roads with Jelly, and of course, B of the double of the O, and it was a muggin to see all of the beautiful roads that the hermits dreamed up and created here in the shopping district. Their artistic interpretation of roads was amazing to the ingenuity of the technical aspect. It was absolutely breathtaking. And I'm so glad I didn't just go through here and do it myself, but incorporating all the hermits into it it made it bigger and better than anything I ever would have come up with, so I'm, I'm so glad we did that. But in the end, by the way, we did complete two of our campaign promises. One, bringing the green beauty to the shopping district. Two, bringing all these roads. And three, well, <laughs> that was like cats and trees, right? We have to go back to our campaign promises to see for sure. But in today's episode, we're getting the throne back. We're meeting with the agents of HIP, but we're stopping at Green's Barge for a little bit of business. That right there is a skeleton horse's butt. And you didn't think you would see that today, but you did. <laughs> but we're here for some business. And business that Green has let me know that my special box, my special treasure hunt that is, is now available. Now you might be wondering, well, what is this special box right here specifically reserved for you, Scar? Well, let me tell you, about three weeks ago, Green told me to meet him at his mansion. And uh, I forgot to put that clip in my previous video and my, my previous to previous video and my previous 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 video. I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. Arrived here to find out that he wants six. He just keeps throwing more money at me. He wants six stacks of shulker shells. Are you serious? That's it? 17 diamonds? Really? 17? That's right. Go back to your ender chest and give me a better deal than that. Okay, okay, we're up to 35. Let's grab them out. I didn't realize that I'm getting low on these. I'm gonna need to make some more end runs. So he pushed the offer to 60 diamonds, but I'm still a little hesitant on that. Why don't we see if we can get a favor, maybe? Mystery box? What if we do that? What if we do a mystery box from the barge? Not, not a boo, a bok. No, nope, not a, there we are. That wasn't so hard, was it? That, that seems like a good one. Look at this, look at this pitiful one diamond. No, I'll give you 12 bamboo. What is the deal with the 12 bamboo? That was in the auction and people are paying good money for it. I need some consultation with you. Is that a good deal? I'm, I'm a little bit confused, so please tell me. I may be making the worst decision of my life, not accepting the 12 bamboo for a payment. <laughs> just a, just a free one. Yes, yeah, see, nods, happy nods. <gasps> no way, what? Come on, look at these. Look at the shulkers in my hand. There were so much. I know, because I want one. <laughs> oh, they're sold out. Hmm, there's none left. Well, I mean, look, there's one right here. Can I have that one? I owe you for the box. This is genius. This is genius. Right now, he cannot refuse. I'll put that bamboo away. I'll make a special scar box. <gasps> I'm so honored right now. I feel a glow and a little bit of music playing in the background that are non-existent, but it's how I feel. We're getting a special IOU box right now, and I'm happy about this. What is this? Oh, is this the certificate of, of IOU-ness? Oh, this is amazing. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And there's the deal. Sweet. All right, I will take my certificate with a happy nod, and we shall be off. A ticket for a free scar box. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, those, those eyes don't look good. They're like laser beams into my soul. <laughs> Hello? Oh no, his laser beam eyes got me. Okay, 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 okay. Here's, here's your shulkers. It was just for the jokes. And there he is. He's got his shulkers. We have a future box of our very own coming, which is amazing. So yeah, let's pack. Wait, one more? No, that's all I got. I've got nothing else. That's it. That's all. <laughs> don't tell him we have more. I got to shop the run for shulker box sales, so... We need to keep up with that. So Grin, we will see you out later. <gasps> no! Oh, I saw that. I saw that ahead of time. My life flashed before my eyes. Why did I click the rocket button? Good guy, Grian. Rounded up all my supplies and put it in a chest here, which was very nice of him. There we go. Man, <laughs> that was quite an ordeal. Negotiating with Grian. I mean, you gotta pack a lunch because it's gonna take some time and some band-aids. Oh, the bamboo, it's it's back in my life again. Why? 
Why the bamboo? Why does the bamboo keep popping up in my life? <laughs> what is the power of the, the bamboo? You can buy anything for 12 bamboo? Really? Pride back with the bamboo because after this clip, I'm gonna need it back. Man, you truly never know what's gonna happen when Green invites you over to the mansion. <laughs> but anyway, I think we came out of it pretty darn good. We have got ourselves the ticket for one Scarbox and well, this 12 bamboo that he says that I can buy anything with. So I was thinking about it, right? With his rules and his logic, I could buy some carrots, right? I could buy a stack of carrots. I could buy some rockets or I can buy the entire barge. <laughs> I mean, he did say I could buy anything with it, but let's pop over to the reserved box, which I'm very, very excited about. Okay, okay, let's see what see what's in here. Hey, eggs in the world. <laughs> oh, these are one of the treasure hunt things. Oh, I thought I was just getting a random mystery box. Okay, this is actually more fun. Behind the beard of your best horse house. So if this is a treasure hunt and that is a clue, and if that is a house and a beard, that can be no other than Larry the Snail and the Diamond Beard. So of course, Larry the Snail was my house at the beginning of season seven. He has a beard of diamonds. And if this riddle takes me to the right spot, it should be in the back here. Hmm. It's behind the beard, not the behind of the snail. Man, we're having a lot of butt talk today. Um, so yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, I have scaffolding. Perfect. Greatest scaffolding ever is yellow carpet. Mm -hmm. All right, let's grab this. Let's see. Go to these coordinates. Trust me, it's worth it. I trust. Wait, that's 10,000. <laughs> Once again, we're going to have to pack a lunch. Every time you do anything with green, it's pack a lunch. Oh, this is going to be a very long flight. Uh, doop -dee -ba -dee -ba -doop -doop -doop. A doop 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 hey endermen. Is this gonna last until we get there? <laughs> According to our coordinates here, we should be very close. Why are you staring at me? Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I got really turned around over in the swamp there. Uh, let's see, just ki- What? Just, just, wait, wait, hold on. I'm a little delirious from that flight. Just kidding, go, go back to the- beard and dig to bedrock oh you oh you oh you sneaky rapscallion you cow on a hill can you even believe what green has done to us unbelievable well we're back right above larry's beard and let's just hope this gets us to the right spot <laughs> I don't have high hopes, honestly. Digging straight down is very scary, and it's getting darker and darker. Oh yeah, I'm a pro Minecraft. Turns out, Ender Chest cast light. We've got light now. <gasps> oh, sign. Hello. <laughs> Chest cast. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna need some cake. Okay. <sighs> Just kidding. Go back to the sign and dig all the way to bedrock. <laughs> Wait a second, what is this? Etho! <laughs> oh man, we are getting the run to the deal here. Up, up, and away again. Oh, we are back once again. And I promised myself, hold on, where is it? Where is it? Hmm. Where's my party? Oh, here's my party box. There it is. I promised myself some delightful cake after all that. <laughs> Okay, just kidding. Go back to the beard and uh, you sneaky. All right, I brought torches here because I'm a super, super pro now. All right, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I was just checking for traps. Okay. Just kidding. No, no, no. Green, green. Is, are, you, are you joking? Is there a prize back here? What? Just kidding. Your prize is under the ladder at larry i i don't i don't believe him this time i don't believe him i'm gonna bypass this step and i'm, I'm gonna go under here i'm gonna go under <laughs> go under. <laughs> there's nothing under here oh man i'm gonna need some cake and we're gonna make that trip one more time <laughs> that never tasted better in all of my minecrafting years ow that's really rude just pushing a man in distress over here yeah yeah you're a mean pig <laughs> Horse, you can have the rest of that. Hi again, cow on a hill. I know, 
I know. Oh man, I was never so happy to see my Big Dig and Larry down below. What did we travel, like 40,000 blocks? <laughs> oh shoot, oh shoot, it said ladder, right? I, I think it did. Oh <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure it said ladder. Well, let's just give it a go here. Okay, oh. <laughs> I was ready to head down to bedrock. Okay, all right, here we go. I'm a little nervous. Oh, no, 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 no. Mumbo's the resistance leader. Mumbo's the resistance leader. We already know this. We already know this. <laughs> this is stale information, as stale as the mycelium. What in the world? All of that? <laughs> okay, well played. Well, well played. I'm just, I'm just going to bury myself in here. Goodbye, cruel world. Goodbye. 40,000 blocks later, we got some stale information and some crummy mycelium. And I'll tell you this right now. At this point, I'm having second thoughts about who the leader of this resistance is. This guy right here is looking a little sus. We may have been duped from the beginning, and this poor lovable man may have been framed. I don't know what's real anymore, but I can tell you one thing that is somewhat real, and the fact that Beat has recruited members to hip, hep, Hip, 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 and they are assembling in the tower right now to combat the resistance. We are all looking good here. You guys all know why you're here, by the way? You you were you were briefed by B Dubs here. I'm uh, I'm here to stomp out okay, the mycelium. Yes. That's the attitude we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. So let's cut to the chase. Why we're here and why we're fighting for the green grass. Now, some may say that the mycelium islands have always been mycelium it's their natural habitat but mm -hmm. i say no based on my research i have found that mycelium islands contain as you can see this demonstration in front of us that mycelium islands contain the most lush and green grass that you can find in an entire minecraft world and this right here is a fact that green grass that grows here is a special variety of beautiful grass that can be found nowhere else. And through my research, I have found, speaking with trees and things of this nature, yes, trees, that I have found that this island once contained the green grass and mushrooms living in a symbiotic yeah. relationship together in balance. But there is a deep-seated problem with the mycelium as it loves to spread. And as it is spread throughout the island, it is also spread into the hearts and minds of our fellow hermits. And as they dug themselves deep underground to create this resistance, we shall free them from their bonds of the mycelium and free them to the light of the surface once again to bring balance to the world. As you can see in front of us, there are mushrooms represented in this office in a balance with nature as it should be. So that's the uh, purpose of hip. I, yeah. I get embarrassed in speaking in front of large groups of people. So I hope that was okay. Man, I'm really bad at talking in front of people, especially rousing inspirational speeches. <laughs> so I hope it was okay. Now we're hiding over here in this office with Jelly, of course, and I am waiting on Tango. That is right. Tango is working out some ideas for getting the diamonds back, being the now hacker and technical support of hip. You know, Tango? The only thing it's missing in this new office is a cat tree for jelly. <laughs> a cat tree, I like it. Maybe you could build something into into here. I think that's a good idea. And then she's just kind of perched up there. But anyway, yeah. this is beside the point. We're here for diamonds. You've got a plan. Yes. I've watched Mission I've Impossible. I've had some time. Mm -hmm. I've had some time and I have devised a foolproof plan. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, mm -hmm. tell me, tell me. But it's gonna require a joint effort here. This is no small task here, right? We are using some state-of-the-art technology here and it's divided into two phases. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Hit me with it. Phase one is gonna be tunneling in. We're gonna have to gain access to the wiring of their security system and their door timing system. And we're gonna need to override that so that the door stays open longer. The second part of that is we are going to have to access their digitally encrypted access codes, all right? And re-upload our own override security matrix. Wow. I know. Phase two of this operation then, I need to gain access to the main, the door! <laughs> 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 this is a dangerous Scar, table. Scar, you need to talk to someone about this table here, right? This is a hazard. Someone needs to fix this. We're going to need to do an aerial entry into what? the vault entry area, being sure to not touch those state-of-the-art floor sensors. The okay? clickety-clackers. The clickety-clackers, yeah. We touch those, man. Game over. 
game over, all right? It's all done, all for nothing. And there will be no throne. And this is gonna be using some of the latest and greatest technology I got my hands on. It's called the Precision Insertion Guidance System. It's military grade stuff, man. You wouldn't understand. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just a man of the people, a simple man who makes That's trees, right. not war. If this all goes well, all right, the doors <laughs> should stay open and I should gain access to the vault. But this is going to require serious teamwork. Are you up for it, my friend? Ah, uh, do I need my own gloves? I think you're going to need more than gloves. Tango, I've got a spy suit on. After watching so many spy yes. movies, it's antiperspirant. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you might need that. You might need that for what we're about to do. I got mine on too. What do you, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> you look like the Hamburglar. Come on, what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, hold Legendary on. Legendary spy stuff. You're a spy Ronald McDonald. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> are well, we gonna? What are do I we do? Gonna, do I need? Are we gonna I steal some that. hamburgers? <laughs> Come on! No, Tango. I'm sorry, but this isn't gonna work. I'm gonna go back to my my store cupboard of spy clothes. See? It's a costume shop, but it, I it'll like work. It. As mayor, you have all the context. This is what I like. Let's do this. Let's do this right. Woo! Look at me! Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm unstoppable now. Look at this. I got my laser visor eyes and my my earpiece. Oh, Stay in communication now, Scar. Dude, you look like Jordy LaForge. Mm-hmm. We need to spy something. Oh, no, we're going to, right? You, you've got this all planned out. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of remember what you said, but there was a lot of acronyms and I forgot them. <laughs> I've prepared, I've prepared an access tunnel. This is going to lead us directly into the wiring and uh, gain access to the security encryption data that we so desperately need. Yeah, but I, I wonder what this hole was. It's very un Scar safe. Um, it also looks really dark. I'm I'm gonna need some goggles. That's better. <laughs> oh, look at you! <laughs> Fine, I'm just All going right. in the hole. Jeez. We're going in. We're going in. Oh, this is super tight. Yeah, we're in the vent system here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hmm, hold on. Is it a bad time to tell you that um, I'm claustrophobic? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Press on, my good friend. Here we go. <laughs> Don't they always find like rats in here? Yes. Oh, is it a bad time to tell you I'm scared of rats? <laughs> rats? <laughs> You're scared of rats? You're scared of type? Is there anything else you want to get out in the open here? Um, the dark. The dark? Okay, well, you got your goggles Hold on, on. So I'm turning the flashlight right? on. Okay. Oh, All right, that oh. feels so much better. <laughs> All right, careful. We don't know if this is trapped or not. Oh, that's no true. No idea. Let me give it a minute here to evaluate mm -hmm, their mm -hmm. systems. Okay, step one here. I'm gonna need to, yep, careful. We're fine, we're fine. Don't touch anything, leave this. I'm the expert here, right? Uh, Don't touch I'm, anything. I'm backing up. I'm... Door timing systems have been overridden. That should uh, that should keep the door open okay. as long as you want. Now, I'm gonna need you. You see Me? that? You see that hopper access point over there to the right? The garbage bin? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to carefully reach in there and pull out the first data column of encryption data there. Yes, okay. that's the old security system that we have misplaced. We're gonna replace that, pull that out. Okay, Excellent. it's out. Excellent. It's okay. out. N now I am re-uploading our new securely encrypted cipher tech data stream. Ooh, into fancy. The, into the- Should I push the comparator button? Nope, nope, oh, nope, nope, nope. I nope. did. In fact, okay. Just okay. kidding. I see how it's gonna be, all right. <laughs> Phase one complete, no hitches. Back away slowly. Whew. Uh, Tango? <laughs> Is yeah. this the PIGS system? Yeah, the, the precision insertion guidance system. Do you like it? Uh, it's not what I was expecting. This is- uh... Well. No one expects this level of technology, my friend. This is this is a sight to see right here. I never thought this technology would ever be used in Minecraft. It's like the furnace Minecraft cart or whatever. Yes. Next, you're going to roll that things... thing in here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're not done yet. You don't know that. All right, listen, are you ready? Precision, it's in the name, precision timing teamwork here, right? I'm going to need you to take one of these guys, right? Okay. That's our lateral deployment system. You are in control of it. Oh, I thought I was just going to push you into the hole and close the door. Or that, or that, right? Okay, hook me up. All right, we're going in. Are you ready? <laughs> I have such a bad feeling about this. Godspeed, you two. What, he's coming back? <laughs> Forward deployment. I'm, Careful. I'm going really slow, man. How you doing? Okay. How you doing? Uh, 
Oh, it's oh. bouncing. There's a lot of bouncing. Okay. You're, ah. you're coming through the you're coming through the ventilation shaft here. Okay. I'm going to attempt out my face. I'm going to attempt to access the security panel. The key is in. I am deploying the system override. Oh. Oh. Scar, the door is open. The, the door is open. All right. I need you to ever so carefully inch forward now into <laughs> the chamber, into the vault. How is your face doing? Is it okay? It's, it's been better. Carry on. <laughs> Keep going, drinking, drinking potions to keep me alive. Okay, Help I'm at the low. end of the ventilation shaft. Oh, Scar, we yeah. are in. I am dismounting the pig. You're dismounting the pig? Do you see oh, the, the pig down? Repeat, pig down. <laughs> oh, he was a beautiful. Oh, but hey, PGIS. that's all right. Listen, the pig served his purpose. I am in. The vault is clear. We bypass the pressure sensitor plates. <laughs> all right. The you diamonds the are diamonds? being. Uh, I'm getting the diamonds now. I'll be out in a minute. Okay, I'm I'm gonna work my way out of this shaft. Scar, all the diamonds are in my possession. I'm ready for evac. Code three. Are you ready? Yes. Get out of there. <laughs> the gate is open, right? Confirm. Yes, the gate is open. It's locked okay. and loaded. This can't possibly go wrong. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, we did it. We did it, Scar. That was that was a legendary performance. That was amazing. The teamwork, Scar. I present to you the diamond throw. <laughs> that didn't happen. Scar, I present to you the diamond throne. <laughs> oh, look at its back. Oh, oh. in all its glory. Throne.ziv. It's yours. It's yours. So can I just execute this and it'll reassemble itself? Being I think that's file? how it works. Yeah, just double click, 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 and, and the throne appears. Yeah, I know. You brought me on for a reason, and and the two of us together, we we performed. That was an amazing operation. But listen, we had we had a casualty. Ah. Oh, All operations maple. have risks associated to them, mm -hmm. and we we had we lost one of our one of our true allies today. So. Oh no. Perhaps, perhaps we can uh, memorialize Maple. Oh. And, and the sacrifices that, that, that she made in this endeavor to secure the throne. She will live on in our hearts and maybe yes. in our bellies because this kind of looks I delicious. Think, it, does, it does look pretty tasty. We <laughs> it up. does. Man, Tango, good job. Tom Cruise would be proud of you. And yes. we did it. Well, that was probably one of the funnest things I've done in a very long time. I quite honestly didn't think the uh, PGIS was going to work, but it came through in the end well that i'm getting some mixed messages here <laughs> jelly i i don't even know what to say anymore but all i can really say is we've got the throne back and we need to rebuild it here and it looks like the memorial has grown but we pre-memorialized because well the throne's back and well let's build it back it's back. Look at that great, big, beautiful throne, shiny and tasty as ever, but there are enhancements. And the best enhancement to the throne that we've made is Jelly. That's right. <laughs> Look at Jelly above my head there. She's got her very own little spot here, which is amazing. And we've got little diamonds around. We've got some additional mini blocks and it's looking super good. Now I tried to model it as close as I could to the previous one. It's about as close. There's a few little pieces that aren't hundred percent accurate, but it's looking good. It's feeling great. Best of all, tasted fantastic. And yeah, from this throne, we will continue to bring about change upon the shopping district as we brought beautiful roads to the shopping district, diamond trees, and of course, what else have we brought? Oh, the green grass. That's right. The whole thing that's caused all this commotion. <laughs> uh, but this feels good. So with that, we've got one last thing to do, and that is the mycelium buyback. Down here at Hermit Plaza, where we have our rule board featuring some of our great rules like the cub rule. All shops must have an inner chest. Mycelium is banned from the island. Any resistance talk? Clearly nobody listens to me as the mayor. <laughs> but here we go. By order of the mayor, the hip or hep, hep hip hepity agency is conducting a mycelium buyback of any and all mycelium on the island, a uh, dot dot dot. That is because we do not know how much we're gonna charge or really the basic concept, but this is what's spinning around in my mind is that the neutral hermits can find patches of mycelium, 
harvested down for us and we will then pay them diamonds to bring it to us to properly dispose of right so it doesn't continue to spread outwards so that seems like a win-win situation for the neutral hermits right they get diamonds we get rid of the mycelium and that seems fair and finally we have our final sign five diamonds for two stacks of mycelium buy back in the town hall now that seems expensive but it takes a lot sometimes to get the hermits going and five diamonds i think will get them rolling and off to harvest the mycelium that is popping up everywhere here in the shopping district and of course this is where you go to deposit your mycelium and you head over to this box here hip thanks you for your service and you open this up and you take your diamonds for every two stacks of mycelium you put in there now no cheating Jelly's going to be watching. So I think that seems fair. And I'm excited to see the hermits out there harvesting away at all these mycelium patches that keep popping up everywhere. But there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today. We had a rather wild episode. It is nothing as I planned, but that seems to be the theme of our recent videos. And that's uh, you never know what is going to happen when you log on to Hermitcraft. So my friends, until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar and I. Oh, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos. And if you believe the videos are ready, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared for life.